Hot crowd, hot New York City crowd tonight. Uh, guys, speaking of New York, did you hear that uh, I just saw the Knicks fired their head coach this week? Woo! I heard. Yeah. <laughs> you did hear it, ma'am? Thank you. Sure. Knicks fans were shocked. They were like, we had a coach? <laughs> what was he doing? I want to say congratulations to Khloe Kardashian, who gave birth to a baby girl yesterday. <laughs> The baby has 10 fingers, 10 toes, and 10 million Instagram followers. It's very, it's yeah, already. That's true. Hey, guys, Tuesday is tax day, which means you've got just three days left to either send in your taxes or become president of America. So it's just... <laughs> That's right, tax day is coming up. What's nice about tax day is whether you're getting a refund or not, we're all going to go out and get drunk and buy something we don't need. It's just perfect. <laughs> I need it. The deadline for filing your taxes is on Tuesday, and a lot of Americans still haven't even gotten started yet. So here with some last-minute tips on doing your taxes from the independent financial consulting firm Bream and Hackett. Here's Mark Bream. Thank you for being here, Mark. Thank you, Jimmy. Nice to be here. Uh, now, Mark, uh, April 17th is right around the corner. What are, what are some tips you have for people who still haven't started their taxes this late in the game? Well, that's a good question, Jimmy. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, don't, don't worry about doing your taxes. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, don't, don't do them. Yeah. Right, right. W what do you mean, don't do your taxes? Just, just don't do them? Yeah, don't do them. You're good. Good, but if you don't file your taxes, don't you risk getting in trouble? Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, I'm just a little unclear here. Do you, do you guys have some sort of system or process for helping people with their taxes? Oh, yes, we do, Jimmy. Uh, step one, yeah, don't do your taxes. <laughs> step two, nah, you're good. I'm so sorry, Mark. Can you please explain yourself further? I think we're all a little unclear here. Well, Jimmy, we here at Bream and Hackett have found over the years that we don't really understand taxes at all. <laughs> like, we don't get them. Like, we don't know what a 1040 is or a W-2 or a W-4 or why there's a W. Like, we heard the phrase estimated tax, but we have no clue what it means. Like, like, we've heard about FICA, but we just think it's the name of someone's dog. Like, we get pizza and we get chairs, but we don't get taxes, you know? Like, we don't necessarily... No, Mark, Mark, I get it. I get it. You, you, you don't get it. But I have to ask, I mean, how are you able to be a financial consultant if your advice is just to not do your taxes? I mean, who are your clients? Donald Trump. Ah. That's... Thank you. Mark Bream, everybody. Mark Bream. Guys, listen to this. I heard about a new bowl with a built-in wall that goes between your milk and your cereal so the cereal doesn't get soggy. Or as one guy put it, the cereal should make the milk pay for that wall. No way. Uh, get this. Police in Argentina are in trouble for losing over a thousand pounds of marijuana and then saying the weed was eaten by mice. Meanwhile, there's totally a mouse out there like, I need cheese, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of animals, I read that the green-haired turtle has officially been added to the endangered species list. Have you, this is a real thing. Have you seen the green-haired turtle? Take a look at this thing. It's real. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Well, I guess it's been feeling depressed about being endangered, so other animals are trying to cheer it up. Here's what some of them had to say. First, this blobfish said, You're depressed? Relax. I mean, <laughs> compared to me, you look like Ryan friggin' Gossel. <laughs> then this next animal said, I know it'll make you feel better. Bath salts. <laughs> and finally, this monkey said, Hey, at least all your body parts look like they're in the right spot. Oh! <laughs> I heard that scientists say there's currently a giant hole on the surface of the sun, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Anyway, happy Friday the 13th, everybody. Uh, <laughs> and finally this week, President Trump said that Robert Mueller's investigation is the reason America and Russia have bad blood. Trump's actually been talking a lot about bad blood, bad blood a lot. So I, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Watch this. Cuss, baby. Now we've got bad blood. You know, it used to be man love. Take a look what you've done. Cuss, baby. Now we got bad blood. Hey.
We have a great show tonight. Give it up for the Roots. Uh, uh-huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.